Hello, and welcome to my review of a nifty little gadget I purchased for the iPhone uh, with regards to filming. Um, it's called, uh, was manufactured by Saramonic. Saramonic, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I came across this on Amazon. Um, it's called a smart mixer, and here it is. This is it. It's rather nifty, isn't it? Um, you slide your iPhone into, don't know how well you can see that, but you slide your iPhone into the cradle, which is all, this is all supplied with the actual unit. So you slide your iPhone into the cradle like so, lock it down. And there you have uh, the handle, the grip, which you can mount onto a tripod. It's got a mounting plate there. It's also got a mounting plate on the side of the unit, uh, on that side. Not quite sure what you would put on that side, but, but hey, it has it. Um, and then on the top here is the guts of it. This is the actual mini sound mixer. Comes complete with these two dinky little microphones, which I have tested, and they're actually pretty good. Um, Difty little microphones go on there. It's got another culture on the top here for putting on um, a gun mic or radio mic as it has got and it comes with an XLR cable um, which enables you to plug a, a, you know, a, a gun mic in. It's got phantom power. Um, absolutely phenomenal. What a great piece of kit. Um, it turns your iPhone into a genuine, you know, uh, HD camcorder you wouldn't believe it would you i mean that that is it um it works extremely well but the nifty thing is when you've got your headphones in there's a switch on here to monitor either what it's recording or in uh, what the iphone's recording so you've got play and record mode here so in record mode it's just monitoring what this is actually uh receiving that doesn't necessarily mean the iphone's actually recording it i use it in the play mode because that's monitoring exactly what's going down onto the iPhone. So um, absolutely superb. I love it. Um, as I said, it's got a culture for mounting an external microphone like a gun mic um, or um, a radio mic if you need to do that. Um, it's got phantom power. So if the uh, gun mic requires power, it's got phantom power that powers it. Um, and you can use professional XLR microphones because it comes with the XLR adapter and that just plugs into the side there, which is extremely clever. And um, there you go. I use a program called Filmic Pro. That's coming up, there you go. So you've now got a full spec HD uh, camcorder with your iPhone. Do remember though, when you're using your iPhone for video filming, put it in airplane mode, because otherwise it'd be interrupted. If you get a phone call, it'll interrupt it, or a text message, or, or whatever. Um, so there you are. I will be doing some tests with this unit to see how good the sound quality is. Um, I have done some tests and I really, really like it. You have to be a little bit careful though. It is good to monitor the sound because you might get, if that isn't in firmly, you'll get a crackly sound. So just do check if that is in nice and firm and you get a good quality sound. What I didn't mention, you've also got a level control. So you can control the input of the actual audio coming into the unit, which is um, extremely useful, obviously, you know, really useful. Um, it's got two mic inputs, but it mixes the level down to uh, one input because obviously the iPhone hasn't got a stereo um, uh, feed going into it. Um, that is not really a big problem. You may find it a bit of an issue if you're doing an interview situation and there's people talking, that might pick up other sounds. Um, when you plug the external mic in, it cuts out these two. I tend to just take them out altogether so there can be no confusion. The sound is definitely coming from either the gun mic, radio mic, if you're doing an interview situation or something like this, for example, where I'm using a radio mic, I would plug it straight into there. So, um, and you can plug other mics into here. You don't have to plug these little mics in, but um, I think they're either nifty. I think the whole concept of that, um, you know, a camcorder in your pocket 
um, uh, the, all these components do come apart. So, you know, for storing, that comes off, all this comes apart. So you can easily fit it in a tiny little bag and go out and do some do your filming. You are restricted to the amount of storage space you have available on your iPhone, of course. Um, this is only a 16 gig iPhone, so um, I am limited to what I can record on this. But I'm going to show you something in a minute that is pretty astounding and how you can increase your storage space on your iPhone um, and record in ProRes uh, 422, which is staggering. So that's coming up in a moment, so stay tuned. Okay, so I mentioned that there's something quite staggering that I stumbled across and it's absolutely uh, tremendous. I've uh, already owned an Atomos Ninja 2. I've also got the Atomos Assassin, which is the uh, 4K recorder that's at the top of the camera that I'm looking at at the moment there. Um, but with the Ninja 2, you can mount it using this um, uh, uh, cradle sort of gadget thing that came with the Saramonic uh, sound mixer. You can mount the Atomos Ninja 2 to it so you've now got a ProRes, uh, HD ProRes uh, recorder with unlimited, pretty much unlimited storage space depending on how big the hard drive is in this. It connects to the iPhone via the HDMI, HDMI out of the iPhone into the Atomos and there you go. You can see there you've got the uh, full, uh, you know, um, full HD output. But what you're thinking is, Ah, but it's showing up the display that's on the iPhone. No, it isn't. When you do that, that's taking it straight off the sensor off the iPhone. And you've got ProRes recorder in the Atomos. And these are so cheap to buy now. And oh, pardon me, and they are so good. I, I love it to bits. I use it all the time. The other marvellous thing uh, with this, if you're filming yourself, that's really difficult with the iPhone because obviously the iPhone camera's pointing at you and you can't see anything. But with this, you can turn that round. As long as the whole thing don't turn round. It'll all go wobbly now, I expect, but lock that off. And you have a monitor that you can see what you're recording as well as recording it in uh, ProRes quality. So there you go, the Atomos Ninja 2. I can highly recommend it with um, pretty much any sort of camcorder, um, any camera that has got a HDMI output, it has to have a clean HDMI out to be actually record onto that. And most manufacturers are manufacturing cameras now that have got a clean HDMI out. And the iPhone kind of has. It will be, the thing is, this will record whatever the iPhone outputs. If I go back into that and go out of that, it will record that. Um, but when you're in Filmic Pro, only works with, I found it only works with a Filmic Pro app. Um, with Filmic Pro, you can disable all the on-screen commands just by doing that. And there you have a complete um, full output from your iPhone. So there we go. Something else that I um, had a little play with, stumbled across, and I um, think it's great. So, and that's not too bulky. I mean, that is not bulky to take around and you know, shoving a little bag, is it? You know, um, to get really good quality sound, really good quality pictures, and uh, there you go. Now, if you enjoy my reviews, I would love you to subscribe and uh, like, and let other people know. This is, um, you know, I do this a lot, it's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm hoping that these reviews are informative and you enjoy watching them. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>